The push-up, that's one of those fundamental movements everybody should master. It is gonna be a perfect demonstration of full body core control, and of course, the push-up in itself is an upper body pressing exercise. So the primary muscles worked are the tricep in the back of the arm, the shoulder, and the chest. Now we're starting with the neutral grip push-up. Neutral, meaning that the palms are gonna be facing each other, and by consequence, the elbows are, generally speaking, a little bit tighter to the body. That is gonna put a little extra pressure on the tricep and on the shoulder. The reason why we start with this one is because in any pressing motion, the truth is that tricep is one of the primary movers, and we want that to be the most dominant mover. If that tricep is strong, then you will see much less shoulder injuries or pains in those pressing movements, and you will get stronger and stronger over the long term. So, here's how we're gonna set it up. We're on the ground. Later, I'm gonna note, if you don't have the strength to be on the floor, how we can elevate this position. But for now, we're on the floor, and we are using dumbbells to allow ourselves to have that neutral grip, and we are going to work on squeezing those handles as opposed to just passively placing our hands on the ground. So, set the dumbbells just outside of your shoulders, and then with some practice, you might adjust that position. When you grip, focus on that squeeze, squeezing the handles. When I line my body up, the hands are gonna be positioned just below the shoulders, so that they're more so in line with between my shoulders and chest. From here, I'm looking to achieve a straight line between my head, shoulders, and butt all the way down to my feet. So as I get ready for my position, my arms are extended, so my shoulders are rounded. My chin is gonna have a double chin to tuck the back of my head to the ceiling. As I pop up onto my toes, I'm going to tuck my butt in. So I have that tension in my belly, tension in my butt, legs are flexed, I'm pressing away from the ground, and I'm in a fully supported position. As I lower myself down, I'm gonna focus on my elbows moving first. My elbows will point back towards my hips, and then my shoulders will start to roll back together naturally. As you get to the bottom of the position, we're trying to maintain control in our shoulders. That's where the cue of elbows first will help us avoid that shoulders jumping up up into the ears. As you get to the bottom, you're going to feel that natural stopping point like you do on other presses, and you're going to think elbows first as you press your entire body away from the ground. Find that tension head to toe, elbows first on the way down, and my entire body presses away from the ground, maintaining that long body head, shoulders, and butt in one line, and the entire body moves as a whole as we come to the top. That's your neutral grip push-up. As you're mastering that push-up and looking to make it stronger, we're using a plate to load it onto our back. Again, place that weight above your hips so that it's across your back, not on your hips. Take your time getting into position and crack it out from there. Now, if you need to make it slightly less difficult, we are again elevating a bar on a rack so that we can decrease how much of our body weight is involved. I'm using a straight bar now so that I can still practice the pulling the bar apart cue. As I set myself up in a straight line, pull the bar apart, pull yourself down to the bar so you can achieve that full range of motion. As you get stronger, progress yourself lower and lower.